Black holes come in many sizes, but their nature is the same, gravity so intense that inward becomes the only possible direction. Small ones distort tidal forces violently, so violently that a person approaching them would be stretched into a long, thin shape, a process nicknamed spaghettification. But near a supermassive black hole, the horizon can feel oddly calm. The real shock would be time itself. Your clock would slow compared to faraway observers, and the light you emit would redden until it vanished. At the mathematical center, theories predict a singularity, a point where densities soar to infinity. But this is a sign that our equations break down at extreme scales, not that nature loves infinities. A more complete theory blending gravity and quantum physics is expected to refine this picture. Quantum mechanics adds another surprise. Black holes aren't fully black. Through Hawking radiation, they emit a faint heat created by quantum fluctuations near the horizon. For astrophysical black holes, this glow is far too weak to detect today, but it raises a profound question. What happens to information about everything that falls in? This information paradox has pushed theory forward for decades. The leading ideas suggest the information isn't destroyed. It may be encoded in subtle correlations in the radiation or preserved in complex structures near the horizon. Black holes are found in at least three families. Stellar mass black holes, a few to a few dozen suns. Supermassive black holes, millions to billions of suns. Intermediate mass black holes, a still emerging middle group seen through unusually heavy mergers. How the first supermassive black holes grew so rapidly in the early universe is still an open problem. What makes black holes so valuable is that they let us test gravity in its most extreme form. Gravitational wave detectors and improved radio telescopes will sharpen our view, turning mysteries into measurements.